this very light that you're talking about in the book or in the Bible have different significances and purposes. One, to signify the presence of the Lord and two, is to give light. Now that is also a work, the work of what? The, uh, the fire in the world and the fire in the normal case, it gives light. Now, it also applies to the Israelites when they were in the wilderness that it was light to them. And then the other one was that the tabernacle of God also had light. We see people now signing into law. If you look at the US, they're signing into law that indeed they're supposed to live. Now people have left the ways of God. Their lights have gone off. They have decided to light their own light, which is not free if you realize it. It is coming with conditions. It is coming in conditions that are very demonic. It is coming with conditions that are coming to destroy. But there was another fire that God tells us that it is free. And when you have it, you have to maintain it and you have to keep on lighting it. Just like a gas cooker, you have to keep on recharging it. You have to keep on refilling it. Don't wait until it goes off before you start refilling it because there might be a situation on that day that that gas will no longer be there. Then what will you use to refill it? Spirit. During this time we didn't have Jesus. We had a location of fire. Where the tabernacle of God is that is where the fire of God is going to be. So meaning that if I am today in Kenya and the tabernacle of uh, God is in Israel, I'm not able to see it because it is locational. It is something physical. I cannot just uh, imagine it. I have to be there in order for me to see it. That fire, it was saying that it had to keep on burning. This is the fire of Holy Spirit. This is the fire of God that we now need in our lives. This is the same fire of God that even when the economy is going wrong, we need to keep it burning for God because we need to face this hard economy together. But we cannot face it when our hearts are cold. We cannot face it when the fire is out. Without that fire, how will we know and how will we know that God is directing us in this direction? How did God come to Isaac when he was in the land of the Philistines? and he wanted to leave so that he can go to Egypt during the famine and he told Isaac do not leave this place for where you are I shall bless you and the Bible says that in that same year Isaac actually harvested a hundredfold and Jesus told the devil when he was in the wilderness being tempted that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God this word of God is a bread of life, is a bread of life that proceeds from the mouth of God and it gives fire to your spirit. It gives light to your fire so that it can continue burning. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them from them all. Today, God, I believe you're delivering me. You're getting it. So by the time you're getting the word and you're praying, then it is the Holy Spirit. You're having fellowship with this Holy Spirit who is your helper in order for you to keep your fire burning. Hallelujah. The other thing is that you